मार्च सेकेंड टू थाउजेंड एंड इलेवन इट्स अ डे इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ पाकिस्तान वेन द फेडरल मिनिस्टर फॉर रिलीजियस अफेयर्स मिस्टर शबाज भट्टी हैज बीन डेडली अटैक्ट एंड किल्ड बाय द अन आइडेंटिफाइड मैन in islamabad the capital of pakistan mr bhatti was the icon of christians and other religious minorities in pakistan and he had been speaking up for the rights of religious minorities in pakistan since the case of asia bb has occurred and uh, there was a pardon case in the court and the the was a uh, a high a movement against the repeal of uh, this uh, sentence so mr mr bhatti after the governor punjab mr salman tasir when he was killed on january the 4th 2011 uh he was on the hot target of uh, the forces who are uh, opposing the uh, voices of the religious minorities in pakistan mr bhatti has been working uh for the last uh, three decades and had been very much involved with the the ruling party pakistan peoples party and he has been convincing and working day and night for the protection of or rights of religious religious minorities particularly the christians unfortunately he was killed today and he was uh, this has been created a sense of insecurity among the christians and other religious minorities in pakistan there has been condemnation from all across the country from the other parts of the world but the christians are peaceful and they are mourning over the death of over the murder of mr uh, bhatti uh according to the the media reports and the government officials mr bhatti was coming out of his uh residence his private residence after uh, seeing his mother when the unidentified men uh, four men uh, according to the eyewitnesses they killed him uh on the spot and um, there are various questions uh, has arisen that there was no security at all and despite he had been facing severe threats to his security uh but unfortunately the uh, uh, the, uh, the question that at that time there was no security at all for him he was alone with his uh with his uh, driver and there was a lady in the car with him uh might be she, uh, her, uh, her relative according to the reports and he was brutally killed in the sector i81 in his private uh, uh and uh, and there has been uh reports that mr bhatti uh spoke to the minister for interior uh many times that he uh, he needs high titan security and bullet proof uh bullet proof vehicle he spoke to the prime minister he spoke to the president and they were they assured him that uh the tight security uh high security shall be provided to him but unfortunately it was not provided and another question has been arisen that uh, uh the uh, the uh, he was the minister and was very important minister in the in the cabinet but he was not given uh the minist the, the the house in the minister's colony where the security is highly tightened but 
he was living uh, privately and he was given a residence uh, uh, in a place in an area where there was no i mean uh, not uh, foolproof security so uh, his con his uh, uh, murder has been uh, condemned by the world community by the us secretary of state uh, hillary clinton and uh, from all over the world and uh, the christians are mourning and it has been uh, uh, announced by the, uh, the, the 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 christian community especially the catholic board of education and others that uh, uh, the institutions and uh, will be remain closed uh, uh, in protest and in mourning and uh, tomorrow in a uh, in our area of tobataxing a big rally is expected where people will protest against the brutal killing of mr bhatti and uh, this this afternoon uh, there was a big uh, uh, protest rally also 400 men and women and children they participated and with the uh, black uh, uh, band and protested uh, against the brutality of uh, uh, of mr bhatti and they have also uh, demanded that the uh, that uh, the extremism should be uh, addressed and the security lapse must be highlighted and those who are responsible must be caught let us see the coming days will the kudis there's a question that in the coming days are uh, the christians or the religious minority would be safe in pakistan or not but the christians have are committed they have been giving these peaceful statements and saying that they are patriotic of the, to their country they had been working peacefully they have contributed in country's social political economic and cultural development so they they they, they have promised they are assuring that they are the the, the true uh, citizens of pakistan let us see in the coming days will the government take actions to pro pro protect the minorities or not